here today to ban Canada geese. Right now the geese are are on the uh, pasture on the front side of a little pond over there. We got two or three folks on that side are gonna try to push them into the water. We got a boat in the water to work them out of this corner of the lake, out into this pasture, and using the existing fencing in our nets, we're gonna try to run them right down into this corner back behind us uh, and have them caught there. That'd be a female. You All of these bands are individually numbered. Uh, four digit prefix 1048. This is 37851. Every band's got a different number, 52, 53, all the way up through. There's a 1-800-327-BAND phone number for any hunter that harvests a bird with a, that's got a band on its leg. They can call the band number into that 1-800 number. Bird watchers that are looking, if they've got a good enough scope to be able to read the numbers, can call it in as a reciting. All of this data goes to the Bird Banding Lab in Washington, D.C. Um, data from all the states for all species goes to Washington, D.C. The bird banding lab and the 1-800 number that hunters or bird watchers report their sightings back to is in Washington, D.C. And then they periodically send reports back to all the state agencies. And from that data, we can calculate everything from a population estimate to survival rates to harvest rates to be able to see uh, the correlation between our harvest regulations and harvest rates and what actually happens to the population on the ground. Very successful goose banding effort today here at Flournoy Farms. We captured a total of 300 Canada geese. 189 of those were recaptures, means they were previously banded, and we had 124 new captures. So we had a very successful effort this morning. Um, as you can see, we did a lot of work just within a couple hours. And um, that's DNR Dirty Jobs Episode 1. It's a take. He's wanting it again. Oh, <laughs> 